Hey everybody, Ron Bielefeld, Whistling Wings Photography. In this video, I guess you could say it's part two of my evaluation of the Canon RF 600 F4 with the two times teleconverter, this time on the Canon R5. Last video I did showed the performance, image stabilization, autofocus, speed, punchiness, image quality on the R3. This time I'm going to show you what things look like, quote unquote, when you're shooting the R5 with the 600 RF with the two times teleconverter. Now, like I said in the other video, my last video, in case you haven't seen it, you can find it right up here. I went right to the two times teleconverter to look at performance of autofocus, stabilization, image quality, rather than doing the 600 by itself, naked if you want to call it that, on the R5, on the R3, then with the 1.4 times teleconverter, and then with the two times teleconverter. The way I look at it, if it's good enough, really good maybe, with the two times teleconverter attached on these camera bodies, then it's only going to be better, or at least the same, but it is actually better, without the two times teleconverter or with the 1.4 times teleconverter. So, if you're interested in seeing how this setup works, performance-wise, stay tuned. Okay, here we are again outside, this time with the R5 on the 600 F4, the RF version, of course, with the two times teleconverter on it. We've got our Western Tanager and our Lazuli Bunting back out in our bush, and we're going to take a look at how quick the autofocus is with this combination versus what it was with the R3. Same bird, same position, same light conditions, really. So let's go ahead, and this is going to be spot autofocus on a very out of focus bird. So there you go. And eye detect, track. That's no problem. Let's move over to our other bird. And it's a little bit, I'm on IS mode one, boom. Pretty quick there. And again, I'm on full. So the focusing limiter switch is set to full. So it has full range. Let's go over here, way over, and get out of focus again here. For our birds, go way over. And now move back. This is where I always have trouble finding the bird again. Yeah, that was pretty good that time. And on your mark, get set. Go. Okay, it searched a little bit there. I can hear the lens. It's not as punchy to me, but we'll let you make the decision. Go back over to our... Let's try eye detect right off the bat here. Boom. Pretty good. Let's get out of focus over here. Come back to our bunting here. Way out of focus, so no eye detect here. Let's try spot. I mean, okay. Change the exposure a little bit here. Bring it down a little bit. Sun came out a little bit more there. Go over here. Eye detect. Let's go way out of focus. Roof across the street. That's way out there. So now let's come back 
to our bird if I can find it. Should be right there. I think that's the bird. I'm not sure it's so out of focus. It was the bird. You can see how quickly it went to the bird there. Let's go way out of focus again. Oops, really bright over there. Let's go to that roof again. Now let's go to the bunting. If I can find it. Should be up there somewhere. <laughs> this is fun. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find this guy. There he is, I think. And spot out of focus. Oop, missed him. There you go, but he was so out of focus, I wasn't really on the bird there. So that was me more than the autofocus. Come over here. We'll go with zone autofocus. How about that? Spot, eye detector tracking. So there you go. You get an idea. Eye detect how quick this can be. Do it one more time. Get out of focus. Way over, way over, out of focus. Come back. There's our bird right there. Let's go to the bunting. Just a fuzzy blob. Again, I'm using spot here. So there you go. You can make your own judgment on how quick that is. Two times teleconverter, eye detect, tracking. Stabilization's pretty good. I mean, good grief holding on to this thing, looking at my Ninja 5. So anyway, we'll go back inside and take it from there. All right, so we're back inside after playing around with this combination here, the 600 F4 RF. Canon Super Telephoto lens on the Canon R5 with the two times teleconverter on it. And your verdict, if you watch the R3 video with the same combination of lens and teleconverter, compare it to the R5, what do you think? Faster, slower? I'm not gonna say much. I'm gonna let you Make your own determinations, and hey, leave a comment in the in the uh, comment section of the video. What I want to do next, of course, is show you some imagery, some images taken with this combination, and then you can see, judge a little bit about image quality that you can capture with this combination. Like I did with the R3, I'm going to say it again. These are processed images. I present processed images. I'm going to put the specs for those images, shutter speed, aperture, ISO settings, with these images this time because I was asked to do that by someone commenting in my R3 video. So I will do that, but I'm gonna stick with putting up the processed images because again, in my mind, it is the finished product that matters and I kind of go with junk in, junk out. If it's a poor image going in, even though technology is getting better and better, generally speaking, you're not going to be able to make a poor image look really great. So if they look great in final, after final processing, after I'm done, they were pretty good going in, if not really good going in, or I wouldn't even process them. So anyway, processed images, not the raws. Again, I'm being lazy. Only have so much time to do things 24 hours in a day. So I'm going to put up the final product again. So if you're interested in seeing images taken with this combination, here we go.
Okay, so a few images to look at there, and I hope you agree. I think they're pretty good quality for a two times teleconverter on the R5, on the 600 RF. And so, what else can we do here? <clears throat> if you stay tuned a little longer, coming up right after this, I put the video clips of the functioning of the autofocus systems from both the R5 and the R3 together. So you can see side-by-side -side comparisons of the speed, punchiness, how they performed overall. You might find that somewhat useful. I tried to synchronize them the best I could, and so that might be somewhat uh, useful to you all. Other than that, after that's over, this video's done. So I'm going to say goodbye right here. And if you like this video, please subscribe if you are, haven't already, because I love getting new subscribers. Keeps these videos coming. Until next time, stay safe. I hope you have great light. I hope you take great images. And I'll see you soon.